Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Art Talk with Susanna Baker. And we're so happy to have you here Friday morning. We're in Miami and it's sunshine outside, but it's even more sunnier here in the studio with the lovely and beautiful Marsha Rabinowitz. Good morning, Marsha. Good morning, Susie. How are you? I am super happy to have you. I mean, we've been close friends, but we have, I met you through your fabulous organization, Legal Services of Greater Miami, and you do an amazing service for them as a special events director, and you have been doing one of my favorite annual events, which is the Heart of Giving. How long you been doing the Heart of Giving now? Uh, we're going on our 11th year. 11th year. Yes. We're, uh, our 11th year will be May 2020, and it is our signature event. It's a very beautiful event. You do a beautiful job, and every year you raise the bar. You've been doing it now uh, the past few years in the Miami Design District. Yes. Which uh, is awesome. You know, as I had told you, as you know, um, the corporate environment is always very, very generous to us. So they do donate space to us, and we get tremendous amount of in-kind donations for this event. Uh, but the legal community are our uh, mainstay. They're the cornerstones of our organization. You really, you know, and, and just to, can you uh, inform uh, our fans listening to us now, Legal Services of Greater Miami is a nonprofit charity organization, and it's been around for like over 50 years. And what does it do, just to inform? Well, there are uh, approximately 500,000 people in our community living at the poverty level. Last year, our services benefited 22,268, wow. to be exact. Wow. With our advocacy, we preserve over $5 million in benefits, taxes, and housing. We help the children with special education cases, and we help children and families in access to health care, foreclosures, evictions, tenants' rights, homeowners' rights, government benefits, consumer protection, employment, and as I had said, uh, definite health access, because it's a very difficult topic and uh, subject for anyone, let alone the underserved, to navigate. And I agree with you. I mean, I found out about legal services when I created my own company called The Art Experience. And I had seen a poster, not sure what organization I walked into a meeting and there was an invitation or a poster, it was beautiful. And you um, actually in accentuate the A-R-T in heart. And so the word art immediately uh, popped out of the poster. And I had just formed the art experience based on the recession. As a single mom, I have been in my crossroads of my life without income. And I have been placed in foreclosure. And I have to tell you, I learned to navigate the tough way uh, going upstream without any paddles but I managed to somehow stay afloat though I drank a lot of water along the way uh, <laughs> and maybe some wine and uh, with that being said I would have loved to have known about the organization I didn't I wasn't privy to knowing that it exists it's over 56 years uh, existing like you said and it was only through your efforts uh, of advocating for the annual signature event did I learn about it but by then I had saved my home on my own and I had picked my feet up on and was back on the ground and I formed through the recession uh, the art experience and I called you up and that was 11 years ago and in your very first event I became part of it with art experience and murals for morale it actually was gave birth with the Heart of Giving reception, which is your annual signature event. Now, as someone who has economic hardship, 
as a family here around town facing eviction, facing immigration issues, health issues, special needs. I love the fact that Legal Services of Greater Miami offers the support and the navigation to work with one of the attorneys on a pro bono basis. And that's an amazing organization that you work for and that you do. I mean, how many people? 22,000 as an average? Well, we, we, Legal Services, as I said, as an exact number, 22,268. But there are 500,000 people living in poverty. And it's, it's a remarkably serious issue. When I first came to Legal Services, which was 11 years ago, I had an event where I had a client speak. And this was my first exposure. And she had clearly said to the audience, you do not know what it is like being thrown to the wolves and having nowhere, to, oh, it, it, it's, you don't know what it's like being thrown to the wolves and having nowhere to go. And then she continued to say, my son and I were thrown to the wolves and legal services saved us. For That's the past great. 11 years, I think of this client and many others that I have heard the same message, albeit slightly different depending upon their situation. Um, when I think of, sometimes when I think of retiring and I walk into the office every day to see the dedication, the amazing commitment, and the passion that our attorneys have towards their clients, and the fear, then the hope, and then the relief in our clients' eyes after speaking with our remarkably dedicated attorneys. It always inspires me to rethink retiring. Yeah, and I'm glad you're not retiring because I'm not retiring soon either. Yes, So I really look forward. (laughs) (laughs) But you got a lot more younger spirit. I mean, you're always multitasking and doing. I mean, as soon as you finish one of these events, that brings over 500 people, you know, with all kinds of moving parts to this event. It's just not a pop-up event. And no matter how many years you've been doing it, you always raise the bar, make it better. I'm very fortunate that I'm there also helping with the artists and we bring murals from around where, you know, every year a new set of artists come and paint live or offer a donation and then get to show some of the pieces and people can really add to their collections. And 100% of that money from the donations of art goes to the organization League services of Greater Miami. Now, that has been remarkable for me to see because I've been there through the 11 years. I have seen every single event, how fabulous and beautiful and how much you've raised in awareness and money. And I know that many people will say, well, yeah, it's legal services and it's for the undeserved and in poverty level. So those attorneys must be really poor. You know, they got to pick the worst attorneys in the world, people that probably flunked the bar 10 times. And the truth of the matter is you got the most prestigious firms that send their attorneys to work with you pro bono, right? No, that, that, that no, these are public service attorneys that are brilliant. These are people that actually have such passion for the lesser served um, individuals in our community. These, uh, these attorneys are so outstanding and astounding that this is what they chose to do. This is what they want to do. There are certain cases that we that certain law firms have their pro bono attorneys. They come to help right, with I certain cases, yeah. but our attorneys, there are about thirty of them, are just remarkable. They work at legal services okay. in the offices, and uh, they. I would say ninety eight percent of the cases are solved through them. They're wow. amazing. Okay, well, that's something I just learned because for some reason, I don't know why I thought that it might, because you have an amazing roster of sponsors and, and donors from the biggest, you know, the of biggest, the biggest. The, the biggest, best, highest profile leadership law firms uh, in the South Florida community. Yeah. But that's because they know what we do. Yes. They support us. They believe in us. And we're the ones 
who they know our attorneys are remarkable and we do take care of the underserved population. Now, I know that Marsha Siphon, who used to serve as the executive director for legal services, who retired, you guys uh, were on Biscayne and 32nd Street for a long time. The building was sold, which created more funding for your services. And I believe you moved to... Where is legal services now if someone wanted to give Le- legal, the address? Well, legal services is at 4343 West Flagler Street, which is right off of Lejeune Road, Lejeune mm-hmm. Avenue. And, uh, you know, you can certainly go to our website, which is legalservicesmiami.org. We have a very beautiful website, and you can see everything that we do do. Uh, our events, uh, our uh, uh, projects, our attorneys. You could read up on absolutely everything. And I highly recommend that anybody that is is concerned about their civil legal uh, rights, contact our Boy, attorneys. your lines must be off the hook. <laughs> because uh, right that, now with the yeah, the atmosphere that's happening with immigration and legal things around the country, I could only imagine. But the truth is that as great as they state that our economy is doing, it's still there is a poverty in the city of in our city and there are people in great need that do not know how to navigate something legal and they don't understand that there is this resource there to help them and so i think that's phenomenal because when you think of you know the resources out there uh you know medicaid and and section aid and welfare you never would think that there was a resource for legal uh, lawyers that's you know that's normally put in in the mind frame of someone who's a very high and middle class family you would never think someone in a living in a poverty line could have such a phenomenal attorney to go to bat for them that's that is absolutely correct it really is and as i had said i mean just to give you an idea of the types of cases handled by our attorneys 42% are tenant rights, 7% are homeowner rights, eight, 16% government benefits, 11% consumer, 6% family and education, 4% employment, 7% affordable housing and community development, and 2% health, 1% immigration. The client demographics that we do have, the households that are served, it would be 60% headed by women, headed by seniors, 55% low-wage workers, and 31% children. Wow, I think I fall in all those demographics except for the children. (laughs) But anyway, you know, Marsha Rabinowitz, you came from a huge, uh, you know, you have been in the community for a very long time. Uh, You have served, I know your husband as well. He serves with the community and the health centers. You yourself, you were part of what, what was, weren't you part of the Grand Opera or some music? No, the the Concert Association of Florida. Concert Association of Florida. No small potato there. For about 12 years, I was with the Concert Association of Florida. And uh, I mean, that, that was quite wonderful. Um, but my main focus always had been the outreach, uh, the, educa- outreach. the educational outreach for children, because I am firmly committed and believe that children are our future. And I think that we really need to help them reach for the stars and the only way that the vulnerable population of children have the opportunity is through education of elders and also with assistance to be able to uh, navigate the system so that they too are able to become stars themselves. 
I, I, I got to tell you, I, I tip my hat and I do a standing ovation because your heart has always been beyond the heart of giving you. As soon as the event ends, you're the next day, you know, asking and, and, and calling and seeing who your next uh, great. And you give some amazing awards to community philanthropists and attorneys and judges that have really gone to bat for the community. So it's just not a party with a lot of great cocktails and food. It's really for an overall awareness to your judicial audience of donors and corporations and people that come to celebrate together all the wonderful efforts that that your team at Legal Services uh, make happen for the community. I, you know, I will say uh, the attorneys and the staff are remarkable. They are really committed, really passionate. We have a fantastic administrative staff. Monica Vegas Patan is now the executive director, and Monica has a vision that is is just marvelous. She's she got a team really. of. She's a, a fabulous woman, very very smart, very organized, and uh, I think that the future holds a lot of good things. We also have. A very fine executive board, board of directors. This is so important. And a campaign committee that is forever involved with us. Thank God for all of them because they're the ones who really make this work. And they that's are. so important. I mean, it takes the sum of the parts to equal the whole, and the great whole is legal services, the Greater Miami. Your mission of of giving and navigating the resources for undeserved family is amazing, and I just uh, con- your your continued efforts. I applaud you, and anyone wanting to donate or find out more about legal services, the Greater Miami, please go to www.legalservicesmiami.org. Org, Marsha Rabinowitz. I know you for 11 years. I hope for another 11. I hope not to see you retired so we could always have fun in our lunches and create more stuff culturally for the heart of giving. I look forward to May because May, I know, is your event and it's always glamorous, fun, but more important, it helps the community outreach. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. Thank you for our talk with Susanna Baker, Marsha Rabinowitz, Legal Services of Greater Miami. See you next Friday. Our talk with Susanna Baker on 880 The Biz.